after Thanksgiving. How are y'all feeling? Are you feeling like still full from last Thanksgiving? Did you do any shopping? I know I, I went out for a little bit on Black Friday, but again, I think a lot of my guests this year are going to be coming from some of the guests I'm having on my show. I have a lot of small business guests I'm going to bring on. Um, I can't get them all on before the holidays. So if you want to check my full list of small businesses, please just go ahead to um, shazisworld.com and I'll put it up here so you guys can see. Uh, go to shazisworld.com. Right now I have um, th two gift guides up. The first one is on fashion, jewelry, and accessories. The second one is on beauty products. So like hair, makeup, nails, skincare products. My third one coming up tonight is gonna be on lifestyle products. So you can buy art, books, and things. And I'm gonna have a fourth one about food and other services. So please, please, please go to shazisworld.com and check out the entire list of small businesses. Please support small um, this year. So for tonight's show, I ha am happy to have uh, Lisa Alexander as my guest. I've known Lisa for a while. Um, we've been friends on Facebook for a little bit. And this woman does wears a lot of hats. Um, I mean, she I knew that she was like does marketing and stylists and health small businesses. But I just found out that she does this Alexander Farm and Orchard thing on the side. I'm like, girl, where do you even find the time to do that? And our mutual friend, uh, Zelia, she tagged her on my small business tag post. So I was like, wait, this list is? And it's been around since 2015. I'm like, where have I been? I'm so bad that I just stopped finding out. Um, so anyway, so she's originally known as a marketing stylist. She's still a marketing stylist. Uh, she's done everything from working as art director, graphic designer, marketing director. She's had a fulfilling 20 plus year career. She's exactly the person I want to talk to on another show segment specifically about that because that's the type of career I want to get into. Um, she owns a company called Pretty Work Creative LLC and Pretty Work Studios, where she helps small businesses grow their businesses through strategic marketing, branding, and video content. But tonight, we are bringing her on the show to talk about Alexander Farm and Orchard. Um, so I'm going to let her tell us a little bit about that. I'm going to get ready to bring her on the show now. So let's go ahead and welcome Lisa to Shazi's World Live. Hey, how are you? Hey, Lisa, how are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Of course. Welcome. Welcome to Shadi's World Live. Um, I'm super excited to have you on here. I knew as soon as I saw you, someone was like, I've got to have her on here. This woman does everything. And I have to say, I'm like, I love when I went to your site and saw just how cute the soaps were. I was like, but you do more than that. You guys sell more than soaps in there. So go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, are you from Houston originally? You know, and how did you get started with the Alexander Farm and Orchard? Sure. Now, I'm originally from Southern California, from Los Angeles. So we've been in Houston for about 25, six, seven years. Now, I think we have officially been in Houston longer than we lived in LA, which is still con very mind blowing to me. So um, we, I guess we're Houston. I guess my one claim to fame is that I gave birth to a Houstonian. I don't know if that <laughs> qualifies me for anything, you know, if I get an extra prize. Um, <laughs> But this has been home for about 25 years now. And so um, we like it's 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 home. It's home away from home. And so Great. the um, <laughs> Alexander Farm and Orchard, how that started. Uh, <laughs> I had um, attempted gardening several times and failed. Gardening. So this was the third or fourth try into gardening, trying to grow something, you know, and I would always tease that, you know, if it was dependent on me to grow something and it was like it everybody would have gone hungry. It just would not have gone well. For, <laughs> it wouldn't have happened. Um, so I think about the third or fourth try is when we actually got fruit, you know, we, the, we, we got fruit from our harvest. And so um, this one particular year I made, I, I got very overzealous and I planted something like 10, 15, 20 cucumber plants. I don't know. I we couldn't eat enough cucumbers. I couldn't give enough cucumbers away. Uh, um, you can't really freeze cucumbers. And so I got the bright idea that I would make soap with the extra cucumbers. I had never made soap before a day in my life. Um, so I said, OK, I did my research and true story. So the process that I use to make soap is called code process. And it requires that you work with sodium hydroxide, which is lye. Now, being a woman of color, we are familiar, most of us are familiar with lye or lye products. It's like, this was not my first introduction 
into lie products. And so everybody else was like, oh my God, it's lying and scary. And it was like, you know how many perms I put on myself, uh, my sister? I mean, we, this, this is no big deal. You put on some safety gloves, you know, you be careful, respect the product. And so I, I used the cold, I used sodium hydroxide to make my soaps, did the research, made my first batch. So my background is marketing, it's design, it's all things artistic on the creative side. And so I decided to, I made my own label, took a picture of the soap, put the soap up on Facebook. The next day I had an order for 30 soaps. <gasps> That's awesome. <laughs> And I so mean, marketing is really a, the key to everything, too. It was a hobby for and pretty pictures. Yep, pretty pictures. I, I love that. Like, you're definitely mm -hmm. someone that people who are getting in a small business should definitely follow and look at. Your site is very clean. Um, you've got great pictures. Again, like the pictures alone, I'm like, <laughs> let me go ahead and place these orders all over the place. Um, yeah, and, and and that's the key. Like, one, you want to have a quality product, of course, of course. So, so then when somebody buys it, mm -hmm. uh, they buy into it beyond just the pictures. But then, and then when they use it, they're like, okay, I love this. And then when they send somebody else to your site, then they see everything you have to offer, and that's that's amazing. So, what was the first soap that you made? Because I see there's different fragrances and things you have on there. So the very first soap was that cucumber soap. So I call it tailor made. It's named after my grandmother because she was a firm believer in all things natural. She was holistic. And so cucumber cured everything. Aloe vera cured everything. According to my grandmother, aloe vera, there was nothing that aloe vera could not um, cure you of. And so there's cucumber and there's aloe vera in this particular soap. So that was the very first soap. And all the soaps are, well, the majority of the soaps are named after um, women that I know or women that I admire. And so that's how the soaps get their name. So TaylorMade is named after my grandmother. I love that. What a way to also boost female empowerment. And how cool. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, there's a soap named after me on uh, Alexander Farm and Orchard. <laughs> um, so which one is your favorite now? Is that still your favorite, the cucumber one? Or do you have new a new favorite soap? Oh, wow. Um, Maybe like them all. <laughs> I do. I do like them all. So I know that I have um, customers that are vegan. You know, they don't want any animal products. So I do have a couple of bars that are vegan bars. But my bet, my favorite soap, it has it's a tallow soap. So I render beef tallow or beef suet myself. I'll render it myself, cook it down and process it and deodorize it myself. And I'll go through that process. But a tallow and goat milk soap. Baby, <laughs> that's so luxurious. It's so creamy. It's great for like winter, you know, when winter comes up and dry skin, that thing is all kinds of moisturizing and it's all kinds of wonderful. And then I also put, you know, shea butters and cocoa butters in there as well. But that soaps made with the tallow and the goat milk, those are amazing. You've got to have the butters in there. And that just sounds so smooth. I feel like, like I suffer from dry skin. Actually, I'm pretty fortunate from my mom um, and my dad's genes not to have a skin that breaks out. So I mm. actually get a lot of compliments on my skin, but I actually have really dry skin. Like if you, I'm like flaky all over the place. And so like just saying something that's moisturizing and luxurious for my skin, that's probably what I'm going to get for myself. I mean, <clears throat> buy for other people. <laughs> so let's talk about how like not only can you buy these for yourself, but um, how these make great gifts and some of your gifts. Do you have any of the soaps to show here that we can maybe see on the screen? It's kind of what they look like. Yeah, so let's talk about your yeah. gift sets. So this is the um, Christmas st stuffing stocker that I have. And so these, these, these bowls are hand tied by me. <laughs> Um, every, <laughs> this, this, this is a labor of love. If you get one of these, please know that this is a labor of love. <laughs> I had to learn how to tie a bow. And, um, uh, I, sometimes I still have to get the YouTube videos like, okay, now how do I do this? But it, these are a labor of love. So Those these will have, um, and I'll, they're, they are themed for Hanukkah and they're also themed for Kwanzaa. So if you wanted to give a natural gift, so what they have in them, so this is a, these are five of my flower soaps. Let's see if I do it this way. So the canister comes with five of these, five of these soaps, and these come in all the different um, styles that I have. So Azalea's Bar, the tallow soaps, the vegan soaps, the charcoal activated soap. You get five of those soaps in there with a organic soap pouch, um, which helps your soap last longer. So 
that's what comes in here. You get the five soaps and a soap pouch and it already comes wrapped. So that's one less thing you have to wrap this holiday season. And it's perfect for like teachers, your kids, teachers, um, the mailman, the Amazon Prime man that has probably been going to your house a whole lot during this COVID. You really might want to reward him or her with with such with said gift. I mean, that, that's just amazing. And you're, you're so right. I mean, I think more people, I think our delivery drivers have had more business and more work this year than any other year before because we were all sitting here ordering. So it was such a nice thing to give back to them. One, because they never stop. And also, I was thinking about my gar the people who come and collect my garbage every day. They never stopped either. Every day they were dealing with people's trash and everything else. So it's just a nice like off gift to give uh, somebody, even if you don't know them that well, but they've given you a service this whole time during quarantine, like our healthcare workers. Um, I, I mean, it would be great to give to them. You know, they're just, they just need luxurious time and stress-free time yeah. when they get home. Can you show us the, uh, the soaps again on the, I just love how cute those are. I oh, love those. You. I so love it how it's on, It comes on a bamboo soap dish. So this is a sample, a sample bundle and it comes with the um, bamboo soap dish. So the bamboo soap dish will help keep your soaps dry. Natural handmade soaps need to dry out. They'll last a lot longer and they need to air out and they'll stay, they'll stay firm. And so that it comes on the bamboo soap dish and the, the, the bamboo soap dish is also in the store as well. I did see that. I saw you also had some cutting boards too. So you're just, you're just moving all into the home decor things. I, I love all that. That's kind of stuff I'm obsessed with. I love cute decor. I love bamboo, anything. That's such a great, uh, unique idea. And looks, I love that you've done so much research on it too, but y'all, you're not just making soap and selling. You're finding ways to make them last, mm -hmm. make them smell well, um, make them like look nice, um, dry and like lo yeah. long lasting. Like it's just, that's just so great. I just, mm -hmm. I just love when there's quality work put into a small business and you, you're just definitely something and someone that someone should follow if they're trying to interested in getting into this. Um, so let's go back to you a little bit about, um, what are your hobbies? Cause I like to kind of get personal with people too. So it was not just like, this is, this is like people to get to know you a little bit. So what do you like to do for fun? And what are your hobbies? Sure. So, uh, we went fishing this morning, my husband and I, we fishing yeah. the new hobby we picked up this year. Love it. Love, love, love fishing. Love it. So we caught catfish this morning and that was dinner. Oh, wow. Nothing like <laughs> cook. <laughs> That's awesome. That was hey. good eating. That was good eating. And then I love being outdoors. So bike riding, um, walking out in it. Just lo I lo again, I'm from Southern California. So I've always loved the beach being outdoors. And so anything outdoors, I, I, I love, I love being out, out in the wide open spaces. Well, this was a great year for that because almost everything yeah. had to get forced to be outdoors. And I think a lot more people gained an appreciation for outdoors with this year alone. I mean, I, I know I was going outdoors a lot more than I probably had ever before. Mm -hmm. I even bought a bike this year. So I started biking and just getting into things that I probably never would have done before. I'm not ready to go fishing yet, but I think that's really cool. A lot of people love to go and it's I hear it's, it's relaxing, you know, you're out there on the lake or wherever you guys go to do the fishing. Mm -hmm. So I think that's great. So do you have any holiday promotions with Alexander Farm and Orchard going on right now? Sure. So right now, all of our full size bars. So bars that look like this. <gasps> so pretty. And this is the this thing smells so good. It's our peppermint hot chocolate and it's a tallow soap. So it's made with the beef tallow and goat milk. It smells oh, amazing. Um, and it, there's cocoa infused salt on the top. So there's a lot of goodness in this. Particular oh, my gosh. So all of our oh, I, I, can I eat it? <laughs> Everybody asked me that. It's like, please don't eat these soaps. They are not <laughs> it I sounds so say, oh my good. God, it looks like tea. It looks like, oh my God, it looks like fudge. And it's like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't eat it. Please. <laughs> looks don't. like it. Do not eat it. Okay. Gotcha. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> um, so all of our full size bar soaps are buy one, get one half off. And that's on through Cyber Monday. And so the um code for the BOGO code is AFAO BOGO 2020. And the website is holidaybogo.com. Uh, AFO, AFO BOGO 2020. Yeah. So that buy one, get one half off. And yep. then yeah, I'll just go ahead and show your, um, your website right here. So Alexander farm Great. Yes. Go, show us some more. You have any more soaps? I just love the way they look. <laughs> just like, show but us these all are all the soaps I have. 
But I do have, um, I make soaking salts. So uh, oh, yeah, tell us everything you make. Yeah. I'm sorry. Let's go through everything that you make. Let's go through everything that you make. Go ahead. <laughs> so I do um, body butters and I do the soaking salts. And then of course I make the soaps and then everything else is curated in. But if you get a handmade soap, if you get a soaking salt, if you get a body butter, it is currently made by me. Ooh. So it's all made in house. Mm -hmm. Can we see the soaking salts jar? That looked really cute too. <laughs> so it's like, even if you so don't buy the, go ahead, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> No, so what we do is uh, we believe in you in using sustainable materials. And so, you know, it comes in a glass jar, something that you can recycle. We firm believers in recycling and things that are biodegradable products that you get from us. So that's why the craft can, can canister is reusable. It's recyclable, things of that nature. So um, and this is our relaxed and powerful soaking salt. And so it smells of lavender, of sage and patchouli very, 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 very luxurious. And so this even has pink Himalayan salt in it, Epsom salt, soaking salts, and it smells so good. Um, the other one that we do is, it's a favorite in the store is, it's called Lily's brand or Lily's bar. So this soaking salt smells like Lily's bar and that's um, lemon and basil. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's such a fresh, clean scent. I go to the site here, add all to cart. There. <laughs> just you describing it, I'm like, it just smells so nice, especially like the one with the Epsom salt and the Himalayan salt, because, well, I'm trying to work out a little bit more, but when I was working out a lot last year, my muscles would always be so sore after working out and I'd get in a bath of Epsom salt, but I was like, I really yes. want something more, a little bit more like luxurious and soft feeling. So that yeah. sounds great. I love that. And so this actually has, lab we grow lavender. Um, as well. And so this is actually dried lavender from the, from the garden as well. So lots of love in this little jar. Great. So like, I, it just seems so cool. Like, so you started off with just making, you were making vegetables and everything. And then you moved yes. on to, you, you made a lot of vegetables. So then you're like, what do I do with this extra stuff? And then you being a marketing person, you designed mm -hmm. your own logo. I'm, I'm thinking, right. You did the logo. Mm -hmm. I, what made you, I, I love the logo too. So what was your inspiration for that? Of, for the outdated form of an orphan logo? It, I wanted something that felt felt very home like, very comforting, and uh, that I think that I was one of two designs, and I was just really drawn to the to, to that particular logo, and that that's what has stayed. And it's like there's been talk um, from my spouse. It's like maybe we should consider changing the name and maybe coming up with a new logo, and that hasn't floated so well when you go out and test that idea. Yeah. Yes. So I, th I, I think it's going to stay for a while. No, I like what you have. Like it's cozy. Like you said, when I see Alexander Farmer Orchard, I immediately picture myself on a farm, like nestled and cozy, especially in the cold winter. And then I've got like these luxurious soaps. I just think yeah. of an orchard and peace and like everything about the name. And I love the graphic. It's great. I, I hope you don't change it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I, love I will how it forward is. him this video. <laughs> <laughs> yes, tell us Shalanda says. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, so you said you have some other things that you curate as well. So yeah, we mentioned that. Um, I'll go ahead and take these off for the thing a little bit. Uh, we meant you mentioned that you have the the soap dish holder, and you also have. I saw some cutting boards, or, or some other things you you have on there, or are planning to curate as well. Yeah. Right. So we're doing charcuterie boards as well. Those should be in this store. I was hoping to have them in by now, but there's been some delays. Um, and so everything. So what the brand stands for is we want women to nurture all of their sacred spaces, mind, body, home and garden. And so um, I actually have. See, oh, I grew I grew so much okra last year. <laughs> I grew so much okra last year it was crazy. And so now I have a jar full of seeds. And so we're selling the seeds. And so the goal of the brand is to eventually sell branded cookware or bakeware, because those are things that help us nurture our sacred spaces. And so hopefully 2021 is the goal to start rolling out some of these branded items. And so that's why you're starting to see the charcuterie boards and you know, we'll have as we get into the spring. So right before spring, you'll start seeing more gardening items um, because a lot of our core customers, a lot of our target audience, they're into garden. They have gardens. And so we know that and we want to be able to 
you know, supply them with some things that they need. And if you're just, just getting started, we want to offer you a starter kit, you know, some things that you know that you plant this with this with this to get rid of the bugs, you know, and, you know, ensure good growth. So that, those are the things that we're looking into. We want to definitely help women nurture their sacred spaces. So the bath is just one part of it. Kitchen, home. I've, I've got ideas. I've got things. Okay, going. so you, I like. I'm so inspired. Oh, I love. I love everything. Home, garden, decor. I let me say. Let me clarify. I love garden, but I cannot garden. I tried at the beginning of quarantine to bring in a couple plants. The plants that you don't yes. even have to water that much. It didn't work uh-huh. out. So they were thrown away within like two weeks. So I decided that we're done with that. Yeah. So I'm going to be that type of things that other people like you, but I'm so excited to just see where the brand goes. And I just love all the ideas. I, I saw that. I can't, I really struggle to say charcuterie. Charcuterie <laughs> board. Yeah. Charcuterie boards. They were so cute on there. I love that bamboo soap dish. I can't wait to see what else you guys come up with to curate, especially when it starts getting branded with your name. Uh, yeah. definitely put me down as one of your customers. Um, I want to sign up for email list and know when things are coming out because that's what I want to get into is I want to get into, um, interior design and home decor and making mm. your spaces feel like you. And I, I think you guys got really got something good here. Um, and also, yeah, I'm the one who wants to just display the soaps. I really want to use them too, but if you guys saw how cute those soaps are, like, I just want like a, a table, like, especially the one with the little, uh, flowers in a row. I'm like, Oop, I could just sit that right there. <laughs> so, but I know there's hope. They're supposed to be used, but I'm like, they're so pretty. <laughs> so, and I, I think I told you, and it's like you're not the, you you're not the first customer. I had a customer sit on her soap for a year, and even my sister in law, <laughs> who's a customer, she was like, Lisa, she, I think she and her husband got in a fight. My brother in law got in a fight behind. He was trying to use one of her soaps, and she was like, no, you, <laughs> no, leave that in, no. And I'm like, I, I <laughs> it's like I need use the soaps. I will make more. I promise. There will yes, there never stop. Never, it's like the decor hand towels of like these are display towels only. You cannot use them. <laughs> this is display soap only. <laughs> oh goodness! No, I definitely, I definitely want people to use them, and then they'll get some more and more. But they are definitely very beautiful. I can only imagine how well they smell, just from like how mm. your descriptions of them. So I can't wait to get some for me, and I think there's going to be actually a lot of my list for Christmas this year. Uh, sending them out. So these ship. Um, Worldwide, are you just shipping local? Where, where, where do your products? Just within the states right now. Okay. All right. So, but they right now and territories, but just statewide. Okay, so my family lives in uh, Pennsylvania. So, if I wanted, well, never mind. I don't. If my family's watching, I don't want you to know your Christmas gifts. (laughs) But I just gave it away. (laughs) Never mind. Oh well. But yeah, so that's good to know that I can. You know, we have them shipped to Pennsylvania and everything. That's super exciting. Um, Is there anything else you want to tell us about? I kind of wanted to talk to you really quickly about your um your other stuff. Your being the marketing stylist and everything in your book. If you want to give us a little bit of information on that too as well because i told my audience you wear many hats you do many many things so Uh, how can people work with you on that front as well sure so uh i think one of the coolest things about having this particular brand the afao brand is that i was able to bring all of my marketing all the creative stuff that i love to do so product photography video shooting commercials or putting together commercials video content all that cool stuff I get to do for AFAO. And so I would definitely um, bring all that expertise if you need help with a project, if you need help with a brand, whether it's a service-based business or a product-based business, I've got, I've, I've, I've got some proof. I've, 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 I've got some street cred. Yes, ma'am, you do. And you have a book too. Yes. So I um, released the book last year, had a great book tour. It went really well. So the book is called What Million Dollar Brands Know. And I interviewed 15 women owned million dollar businesses. They told, yeah, they shared their marketing and branding strategy. So what worked really well and the things that failed horribly. And so there were just some things that were consistent among every single one of these women business owners. And so I share it all in the book and that is on my website. It's still for sale. You can buy the book. Um, I think it's 1995. It's, it, it's on my website and that's at Lisa in Alexander.com. But it was, it's an incredible book. And because there's a lot of, um, we'll say mistruths or half truths when it comes to marketing, there are some marketing basics that apply to any business and those don't change regardless of, techniques or tools or 
you know, new things that come out, there are some marketing basics that are true. And though, and, and every, every successful business on every million dollar business owner that I talk to adheres to those marketing basics or those marketing truths. Well, it's very true. It's like the, like we were talking at the beginning of the show about the marketing and the quality pictures and stuff like that. So Mm -hmm. just, I mean, there are just some core things that you don't even necessarily have to go to school and get an MBA for anything to know. It's just kind of talk to some people who have started businesses, work with you, get a business consultant, read that book. Mm -hmm. Um, So, and it's great that I love that you interviewed women too, because I definitely, Mm -hmm. I mean, I appreciate supporting all small businesses, but I definitely, you know, as a female myself, like, I think it's great to see other women in business out there doing their stuff and um, you, somebody I look up to as well. So I just think that's great. So uh, just to summarize for my for my audience, if you are interested in starting your own business or just seeing what that's like, you can go to lisaandalexander.com to one, either like work with her or order her book that she has a lot of great tips on for what not to do and what to do um, to, when you're starting a business. I definitely need to add that to my list as well. And then if you're interested in her home goods products, which is the soaps and the charcuterie, Boards um, and the <laughs> I tried <laughs> and the baby soap dish. Uh, go to Alexander Farm and Orchard Alexander Farm Orchard dot com, and so mm-hmm. you can get all those nice. She has great gift sets on there. Um, show us your gift set one more time. The one with the bow. So I want to talk about the bow really quickly too because <laughs> <laughs> this bow. What? It is amazing because like a few years ago, I did a gift wrapping class at like I think Papyrus mm. or something. Not a, like it's like a whole skill set to get wrapped in Thank these you. bows. I no, I'm I like I did it that day and I was so excited. I was like, oh my gifts going forward, they're all gonna have these bows and I, I know how to do it now. And then I got home and I was like, wait, what do I do again? <laughs> so I mean, yeah. I am so proud of you with those bows. They look great. It's it, 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 it's a skill set. <laughs> so it well, is. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Lisa, for coming on the Shazis Road Live. I so enjoyed chatting with you. Uh, I'm super excited for you and your businesses um, and everything that you do. I know I, I see great success for you in the future. And I hope, hope, hope everybody goes to your site after this and just starts placing orders like crazy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. OK, thank you, Lisa. Bye. Well, everybody, uh, thank you for tuning in to tonight's Shazi's World Live. Um, Again, I'm trying to do a series featuring small business owners and their gifts that you can potentially buy for the holiday season. Um, I'm still working on my lighting in my studio, so please forgive me for that. But please, 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 like I said, go visit uh, Lisa's uh, website, lisainalexander.com, and alexanderfarmorchard.com for gift ideas to give to people. And my next guest on Wednesday is going to be one of my best friends, Heather Garcia. She's one of the first people I met here when I moved to Houston. She's a fellow blogger and she's a vintage curator. And this girl also does many, many things from photography to selling vintage clothes to blogging and everything like that. So I can't wait to have her on there. And I'm also going to do a special show specifically where I'm just going to talk to you guys about small business tips that I've learned. And you may be wondering what my cred is. Um, So I've been a blogger for over 10 years and, you know, I thought it was just a hobby when I started off and then it quickly turned into a business. I had to come up really quickly and learn what I needed to do to make uh, uh, my blogging a business. So look forward to that coming soon as well. So anyway, thank you guys for tuning in tonight. Love you always. I always appreciate the support. Please share this video with your friends and family. Also, please link to Lisa's stuff. Thank you guys. Bye.